about Massachusetts Owned Transit in, um, I guess, Scranton, Pennsylvania, where you're at? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's close to Scranton, Scranton, but I guess it's in Scranton. Yeah. I don't know. Close enough, dude. So, are you guys Office fans? Of course. So, uh, Dunder Mifflin. Dunder Mifflin. Oh, yeah. Are they on your guest list tonight? Michael Scott's on the guest yeah, list he's tonight? Here. Okay. He's oh, perfect. Actually, I follow the cast. What about Pam? Dude, I wish Pam was here. Pam was here earlier. She left after but, uh, Oh, perfect. It, it was a little Yeah, it was a little weird. She didn't want to, like, the whole, like, you know. The yeah, whole the whole punk. Yeah. Out. That's so cool. It's you guys are going to Denny's with her later, right? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. We're staying at our house. Oh, true. <laughs> they're, all, they're all partying in there. It's going great. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, it's the first night of uh, the Census Fail headline tour. How does it feel to be part of um, being on tour with Census Fail, your best friend's man overboard, Ghost Inside? How does it feel? It feels really cool. It's awesome. I mean, it's been a good night so far. Our set went well, I believe. Aside yeah. from some technical difficulties, but who cares? That was at the beginning, though. We yeah. took care of it. We got over that. Um, man overboard just killed it. Excited to see Census Fail. We beat up with Ghost Inside in three days. But uh, it's going to be a fun tour. I think, I think that everyone in the band has been a big, like, drive to records fan, so, like, the fact that, like, we can play it with, you know, like, we've all watched the DVDs and listened to the records, and, you know, back in 2000, we were yeah. young as shit, so, drive through was, like, our, definitely the stuff that we listened to back then, so, that was really weird. Yeah, it was so long ago. <laughs> like, when they were at their prime, it's, like, so crazy. Yeah. We used to do it. Yeah, that's all I did. And then being with Man Over War 6 too, because they're like really good friends of ours. Yeah, yeah, that's super awesome. We always stumble into the same stuff with them, so it's so long. We were like literally just talking about it before you got to talk to people with Man Over War more than I talked to my mom. Yeah, <laughs> straight up. Definitely also, a lot of potential to meet new fans on this tour. Definitely new fan yeah, base. Yeah, it's cool. It's big like shows and stuff. Yeah. Bigger shows, bigger stages. Cool. It's cool. It's, 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 nice, nice, it's nice. nice. Yeah, it's nice to be playing for uh, new faces. Yeah, definitely. We do have our first release coming out on Rise in April. It's oh, cool. in April. It's going to be two brand new songs. Oh, awesome. Yeah, April 16th. Cool. So, uh, about Something Left Behind, though, um, it's kind of, it has old songs done acoustically, a yeah. couple of unreleased songs. What was uh, what was it like going back and doing some of your other songs acoustic? Uh, well, it was actually something that we wanted to do for a long time. Like, it was an idea that we had before our last clip, and uh, it was just, uh, the original idea was to take one song from every release that we have done, response been from your fans? Uh, from, the, from, from something left behind, yeah. It's been cool, it's been really cool. Like, I haven't seen anyone say that they did it. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. We were nervous because, uh, like, it's different for us. Right. It's definitely for, definitely for the diehard fans, that's fine. Yeah, for sure. Cool. And then we tried all the new songs, yeah, the new songs and the old songs, uh, differently, hopefully, not only we can expand to the different fan base, but, like, how does it feel now to be on Rise Records and be a part of uh, their roster? Uh, it feels cool. People ask a lot. Yeah. So, like, it's definitely it a different... How does it feel to be on Rise? It's different. Like, yeah, it's definitely different. Like, we're just the same. We're yeah. like, yeah. yeah. the same. We're playing the same songs. Like, we're fucking just trying to make music on Rise. So it's a label that liked us from where we were. And it's different label as they are from this band we put out. They, like, want to score as well. I think I think a lot of like personally for us like when we read on message boards like you know people might hate on like you know match records because it's definitely a heavier label and like the stuff that we don't really fit in with our fans don't really listen to or anything like that. But like for us it was more just about like someone that's actually been able to support us, like yeah, you know, do like like not even do what we ask, like just to be able to like get stuff done on time and like do what we like do what we dream and like help us get like get our 
Now you guys also just started, uh, I guess a few weeks ago, uh, Transit Thursdays, um, which is great. Like today's cover of uh, Closing Time, checking out before everyone's loving it. Um, what was the uh, kind of meaning behind starting this project? I don't know. It's like you like when you play a band, like you're always like you like sitting in the band, like listening to a song, and like, damn, I sick when you do a cover this song. And like we did that for years, and then like I don't know, we just had the idea to like post some, like acoustic covers from like bands that we liked, and bands that we into, and bands that like influenced us. Just like not only to like show people like things that we were into, but like just to, like turn them on to different music that like inspired us. And like I don't know, it's been cool. Like, we get to play songs that we love. Like it's just like. I don't know. It's just fun. Damn it, but Blink-182. It's too. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, every time we do it, like, it's just like, it's fun. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's cool. Like, it's a nice, like, it's a refreshing thing. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you got, they did the first one, just web in front. And then and we, we just, like, got some hotel in, like, upstate New York, and it was, like, snowing real bad. Yeah, it was, like, it was, like, oh, let's, let's go outside and just, like, shoot the song, see how it sounds. And you, like, post it and stuff. And then it just sort of, like, branch off the snap. Like, from there. Biggest show of your life, the Bamboozle Festival. Yeah, um, you got the movie life on the bill, Taking Back Sunday. I mean, so Walk a Flock of Flame, like it goes. Away, yeah. Away and yeah. 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 How does it feel? Crew, yeah. Crew. yeah. It's insane. The yeah. line of like, for this it's a dream line that's wrong. Yeah. yeah. So many yeah. amazing things. Yeah. 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 And a lot of people are playing with Mark here and Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, a lot of awesome bands, like, from Marcy to the Tide Show. Yeah, yeah. Um, the area, like, to be the same thing. Back Sunday is like, yeah, to be the most like, important band. Yeah, it's like, it's awesome. And it's just it's like up and coming with rap and stuff that we all like listen to as a whole. And like, we can all agree on. Like, we're gonna be able to like, watch that go down in front of our eyes. Like, and like, a bunch of our friends are so psyched for us that they're like, they're gonna come down and just like, we like, we're thinking about like going down. We're just like, a big boss. And, like, yeah, just one out. big party. Yeah, exactly. It's for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for uh, talking to the Aquarian. Um, have a great tour. Good luck out there on the road. Uh, hopefully, you don't hit weather like today again. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, Boston yeah. winters. You guys, uh, you guys know what it's about. So yeah, yeah. we're waiting for that warm weather. California. California, here we come. Yeah, thanks. And we'll see you at Bamboozle. Yeah. Days in